in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we see Jehoshaphat receiving an evil report that the enemies were coming after him, him and the people of God. So when he received this report, he went in a place of fear, fear in his mind. I think a lot of times when we receive a bad report or maybe just going through hardship, trials, tribulation, you know, uninvited circumstances that's trying to cause you to be distracted, mind all over the place. You didn't ask for none of it, but it's happening. It's going on. There's a lot of pressure going on in your life. Maybe that's you today. So maybe, just maybe, fear, that spirit of fear is trying to get a hold of your mind. Well, it tried to get a hold of Jehoshaphat, but you know what he did? He put a stop to it. He got engaged. He got his mind on God. That's what he did. He didn't stay or camp out in that place of fear, and neither should we. When we recognize fear is trying to paralyze our thoughts, bringing us into a place of bondage where we take no action when it comes to faith, when it comes to the things of God. That's what the enemy wants. He wants to get us into that place of fear, mind filled with anxiety, to get you into a prison of unbelief. You no longer believe God. You no longer are keeping yourself stirred up in the Lord knowing who you are in Christ. Man, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are equipped with the power of God, the Spirit of God. The same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead is alive and active in our lives. But if we walk around fearful, we are not going to walk in that power. We're not gonna walk in the authority of Jesus Christ. So Jehoshaphat, he didn't stay in that place of fear. He got engaged, he got his focus on God. He began to cry out to God. He called a fast, he told the people of God, hey, we, we need to break out in a fast. We need to get engaged, we need to get our mind on the Lord. And then we see him starting to remind God of who he was. God, you are the almighty God, you are the all powerful God. Nothing is impossible with you, God. Man, look at that. One minute he's in fear. Now he's engaged, focusing on God. He is the all-powerful God. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the everlasting Father. He's our chief shepherd. He wants to lead you and guide you and order your steps today so that you can flourish and go forth in victory. And then we see him praying to God, just lifting up his hands in full surrender to God. And he said this, Lord, we are powerless when it comes to this army. We, we are powerless. We don't have the strength. We don't have the ability to conquer this vast army of people that are coming at us to try to take what is ours. We can't do it. We can't do it. Jehoshaphat said, Lord, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are upon you. I'm going to focus on you. See, that is being engaged. When you are engaged, you are going to fully surrender to God and trust him for the guidance, trusting him for the wisdom, trusting him that he knows what he's doing and that he's going to lead you to a path of victory. So as Jehoshaphat is seeking God, Lord, I don't know what to do. Then the Spirit of God showed up and spoke to Jehaziel. Wow, look at that. See, when you cry out to God, God is gonna respond. God is going to come to your aid. God is going to give you what you need. And that's exactly what happened. Jehaziel received the word from God. And he told Jehoshaphat, God said, fear not. 
you don't have to fight this battle. God's gonna fight this battle and you just need to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Know today that that's where God wants us. Stay engaged and let God fight your battles today. Vengeance belongs to God. We have no business retaliating because somebody did us wrong. We have no business trying to lean to our own understanding. No, we need to fully submit to God. And that's what Jehoshaphat did. He humbled himself before God. He didn't trust in himself or in his abilities. He trusted in God. When he fully surrendered, God responded. Be not afraid. You don't gotta fight this battle. The battle belongs to the Lord. And that's exactly what we see in this account because now the enemies are coming at Jehoshaphat and the people of God. It was like confusion struck the people because it said the enemies were devouring one another. Wow, God took care of this battle. The enemies devoured one another. And Jehoshaphat and the people of God, all they had to do is stand still and trust God to stay engaged. Wow. And then once the enemies died, Jehoshaphat and the people of God went into that place where the enemies were just laying their dead, dead bodies all over the place. And it said that they were collecting jewelry off the dead bodies. And then it said that there was so much provision everywhere. See, God provided for the people of God, just like he said he was gonna do. But Jehoshaphat had to trust God enough and to stay in that place where he was engaged. And that's where God wants us today. Stay engaged. Know that God is on your side. If God be for you, who can be against you? Know that God is working everything out for his glory. You just need to trust him, stay humble, so the chief shepherd can lead you and guide you where you can triumph over every situation. So that's what I wanted to share.